Hello, my name is Davis. I'm in ninth grade and I'm from Fremont High School. Go Davis, go home! And my poem is entitled Memories. Memories are like a dog off its leash. They might cling to you as if you had a treat in your hand, never letting go, or might run away as if they saw squirrels scurrying up a nearby tree. They can come and go like the tranquility of a still lake before it rains. Memories may be valiant tales of heroics and the big ones of life of caution, rem reminiscing of grave misfortune and lessons learned, serving a reminder to all. Memories are mischievous, forcing you to forget what others remember vividly or gaslighting you into thinking things that you never dare imagine, poisoning what you once thought as a delicious fruit, flesh festered and deformed, the fume of infection forming around it. Memories are mystifying, a vague fog of misinterpreted said-sos and lackluster information forcing you to relive past mistakes, yet not allowing you to know the meanings, antagonizing you, yet barely out of grasp or guiding you through a convoluted maze, and you go in circles. Memories, they're thoughts and illusions of the past and present, they're the hopes of the future, Wondering and wondering, imagining and thinking, 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 thinking. Did you leave your door open, the car unlocked? Did you get your keys, phone, or wallet? Worrying and worrying if your memories betray you and all you can do is wait for them to stop? Now close your eyes and think. 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 Remember and envision. Picture adolescence. Those times of ignorance and bliss, or of agony and grief, the forgotten best years of your life, yet memories leave out the details, never the full story, just a sentence, a phrase, and the prolonged tome of existence. Now, imagine last week, picture every day, every hour, every minute. Can you picture every second, every detail, every word said to you, or can you only remember a summary, maybe a part or two? Memories are special, an important part of who you are. They're the key to the past, to experiences, feelings waiting to be revisited, and the impacts that make you just as unique. Memories are what makes you special regardless of how much you remember. Now, visualize the future, two, 10, 12, 20 years in advance. Where will you be? Who will you be? The essential question that everyone asks, but why ask about a future when we can highly remember the past, a past which we know little about and play theorize one without a correct answer. With boundless knowledge, nothing is known. The answers are hidden among the lies, memories are contorting the facts. Even when you try, you can fail, and the truth is never mentioned. Memories, they're a foreign entity, they're the keeper of knowledge, they're the ones pulling the strings. We may never understand the past, the future, or comprehend the present, because alone memories rule over all. Thank you.